So a question that I get asked a lot is what software do I use to help me with my Roblox game development? Obviously I use Roblox Studio like everyone else, but you can use your own project management software because if you're making a big game, there's going to be a load of features that you need to plan. So a lot of people use Trello. I've used Trello as well as loads of other softwares, but the software that I use at the minute is Codex. Now Codex is a free project management tool but unlike other tools such as Trello, this is made specifically for game development by game developers. And so everything inside this tool is catered to making games. So this is my codex board for my current game. And what I can do is I can have different decks for all of the different aspects of the game. So for scripting, for bugs, for art and UI, monetization things, etc. So what I can do is I can actually go into one of these decks and just create a card. And so this could be like a feature that I have to make or a problem that I've got to solve. What I really like about it is that you can just write as much information as you need in a card. So it could be um, script pathfinding, right? And that would be the title. And then I could have just a plan of how it's going to work. So the different aspects, etc. You can also paste images, emojis, uh, upload files, all sorts to this one card. And it would just be stored here and anyone on your team could go ahead and see what you're doing on it and how long you've been working on it, how much effort it's going to take you. There's loads of things you can do. There's even the ability to block the card. So you could block the card here if you're stuck and you could just ask someone to jump in and help you with it. And that's what I really like about it. It also tracks how long you've worked on something. So you can see if you're being productive because you might be spending too long on one task and not getting anywhere whereas you could be working on loads of other tasks and that's why it's just really awesome because you can block cards if you're stuck and you can also have sub cards so if you're planning a big feature and you want to break it down into smaller tasks then you can create sub cards so for your pathfinding you could maybe add one card where you firstly got to make the npcs and then the second one could be you script their movement and once you've done that then you start making a pathfinding algorithm, right? So you can break them, break the tasks down into subtasks and that helps you to get more work done and just helps you plan all your tasks out better and it helps you stay productive. So that is Codex, it's what I use. It's totally free. I'm only recommending it because it's what I use out of all the different project management tools. It's my favorite. Although, like I said, there are loads of other project management tools that you can try, which people use. I've heard people using ClickUp, Trello, all sorts. So you want to find what works for you, but this is the one that personally I use in my project. Now, moving on for communicating with my developers that I work with, I use Discord. Now, you could use anything, really. I use Discord because I have tried using other things in the past, such as just using Roblox chat, but like I said, you're going to get censored a lot of the time because things that you're talking about in Roblox Studio, the filter doesn't really understand it and it will hashtag your messages. So I use Discord and I just set up a group chat with all my developers. You could set up a server if you wanted uh, and then you could break your, uh, your, your channels down into different aspects of the game that people are working on. So maybe you might have a, a UI design channel or a scripting channel. But that's if you have a lot of de developers, but you can just get away with a small group of, of all your developers. I have three other developers that I work with, and so we're just all in one Discord chat. And finally, to actually make the game in Roblox Studio, I just use a team create place. Now, you might want to have multiple places, one place where someone can build assets, another place where someone can build UI, but I just have everything in one game in one team create and what I think would be really useful for team create would be if they had a, a way to track how long people have been in the, in the team create when someone last joined the team create etc because when I go into my game into my team create I don't know when the last changes were made it'd be great if I could actually go into Roblox studio in one morning and see what was changed overnight if one of my developers has been working on something see if they changed any lines of code see if they moved anything around and just to see when they last logged in so we can make sure that we're all staying on track so Roblox if you're listening that's my idea for team create but yeah I just use one team create to you though you don't have to 
I know that some people don't really like using Team Create. They've had some issues with it, maybe with it not saving or or you know reverting to previous versions. But Team Create has worked perfectly for when I've used it. And one last thing, uh, I do not use uh, Roho or any external uh, code editors, but that is something which if you are not using Team Create, that's a reason why you might not want to use it because I don't think there is support for that in a Team Create place yet. However, I don't use it, so there you go. So that was an insight into how I plan and communicate and create my Roblox games. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more of this content in the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.